The new Waypoint update to the Fly app for the DJI Mavic 3 is a welcome addition, but it lacks some of the functionality of the Litchi app we use on earlier versions of the Mavic. One is not being able to set waypoints to exact GPS coordinates, latitude, longitudes, and also for the route between waypoints to be flown in straight lines. The Fly app only allows curved lines. There is, however, a way to use DJI's Flight Hub 2 app to create precise waypoints and straight route lines. Flight Hub 2 is intended to use with the Enterprise version of the Mavic 3, but it can be made to work with the non-Enterprise version. Here is a tutorial on how to do it. So first thing, you're going to open the DJI Fly app and hit the connection guide, then camera view, and then onto the map view, and you want to change that to a satellite view or mixed view. Um, doesn't matter where your picture is because that's going to be edited and changed later on. Then click on waypoint flight and drop a few waypoints in. Again, it doesn't matter where because this will get changed. You can see obviously there's a curved flight route which will again get changed. You then want to click on save. You might want to rename the mission uh, to something more recognizable. Um, although when you edit the file later on, that name won't be there. Um, it'll just be a string of numbers and letters. So I'm just calling this test and done and save it. And then you want to exit the Fly app and the next part will be done in Flight Hub 2. So you want to open up Flight Hub 2 and then you need to create a project. Give the project a name, doesn't matter what, anything you want. Then you need to set a point of interest. It doesn't use it, so I don't know why I asked for it, but you need to do it anyway. And then create project. Then enter project. You're going to click on flight, flight route library and then type in a name for your route. So we're going to type in test route and select Mavic 3 Enterprise Series from the drop down and waypoint route. That's the only one available at the moment. Click OK. In the left hand column, you're going to look down and see waypoint types. Normally the bottom one here is curved, which is standard for the DJI Fly app. And then further up, you've got straight. We're going to select that one. The other ones don't appear to do anything in the Mavic 3. And then we're going to click the waypoint tool and drop in waypoints where you want them. You can set them precisely in the right hand column because uh, it gives the lat longs for each of the, the waypoints and you can type in what you want in there uh, and obviously you can edit them as you wish. You can also drag waypoints to wherever you desire to put them. And don't do anything else in the right hand column because you can adjust those in the fly out later. Click on save. And then back. And in your test route, three dots. And you want to click on download, which will put the file in your downloads folder. And then you want to close the uh, Flight Hub 2 app. Okay, so you want to go into your downloads folder on your PC, select the file you've saved, copy it, then navigate on the tablet from your PC to where it will be stored for the Fly app. So internal storage, and then to Android, and then to data, and then you're looking for, interestingly enough, DJI Go 5.
then you want to go to files waypoint folder and then you'll see lots of numbers and letters that's the folder you want obviously the more you've got the more missions the more they'll be there you want to paste in your file into there and then you want to copy the name of the original file and then delete that file I found on um, Android tablets you've now got to disconnect the USB and reconnect it again otherwise it won't let you um, change the name so navigate back to where the file was put so internal storage Android data DJI Go 5 files, waypoint, open the folder, then you want to rename that now back to the original name. And now you can disconnect the tablet from your PC. Right, you're going to reopen the Fly app camera view, get the map up, change it to satellite view, select waypoint tool, open up the save files, click on your test mission, and open that, and you'll notice the mission isn't where it used to be, if you then go on the map to where your edited mission is, and then scroll back into it and you'll notice you've now got a new waypoint mission that you created make sure you go into each waypoint and just the altitudes the speeds and any other settings you want to change so altitude we're going to set it about 50 meters It's on my phone so it's a little bit fiddly and click apply to all so it'll change all the waypoints to 50 meters or thereabouts uh, I'm going to increase the speed just to show you it works again I'm going to set it to apply all waypoints you can do all the other settings as well if you wish and then you're going to save that which will save the mission ready for use so you can now exit the fly app and you're ready to fly